Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I've got a special build here. Not that any of them are not special, but this one's special. Um, my friend James Maroon sent me this a while back, way back before Memorial Day, and asked if I would build it in tribute to his uh, Marine brothers and sisters, which was really cool. And he gave me a paint scheme to try to go by. It was red, blue, and gold. And I decided this would be the next one that I build. And I'm going to try and incorporate those colors into this build. And we'll see how it turns out. But first, I just want to go back and thank James again for sending me this. Um, I really appreciate it. If you guys didn't know, I have my post office box. It is in the description of the video. And if you ever want to send anything... I will try my best to either build it or definitely make a video about it and mention it. I'm very grateful for these uh, gifts that, that have been sent, especially the uh, shop cards, uh, the model kits, all these things. It's just a wonderful thing to, uh, uh, to be able to receive these things from you guys, uh, willing to give them. So anyway, yeah, going to get started on this. I've already taken most of the parts off. This is a low parts count build, so it's not going or a car, so it's not going to take long to build. But it's going to be really cool monogram 32 Ford Street Rod. And it's going to be somewhat blue, gold, and red. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do three colors. It's easy to do dual colors. You can do fenders and then the body. But I might have to do a two-tone body and then the fenders. But we'll see. We will see how it goes. But anyway, going to get started. Going to get some primer on this thing. And start to glue a few parts together. Unfortunately... I know you Chevy guys just will love this. Unfortunately, this thing's got a darn small block Chevy. So good thing it's not going to have to actually crank and run. So um, it'll do a real good job just sitting on the shelf. And it's got that Chevrolet engine in it. But anyway, I'm going to get started. See you in a bit. Stand by. Okay, I have skipped a bit of my progress. I apologize for that. You get carried away sometimes. But I got my paint on my the basic body parts of the car. Um, was going to try and incorporate um, gold in with this. Unfortunately, the gold that I have is not a it's not a it's not a, a gloss or uh, it's I don't know. I've I've painted with that gold color before and it just didn't turn out right. So I ordered. Um, so what we got right now and the paints turned out really really nice I'm trying to glue some parts in, in, in place typically I'll um, glue my uh, suspension parts together then take them off of whatever uh, then I can uh, paint them all together and simply just take it in one unit and put it back on such as this this is the front end and uh, I've got these parts glued together I can take this paint it black like I'm going to. Um, I'll do the same with the rear axle. But I just wanted to show you the paint real fast. It turned out really, really nice. This red, um, just dark gloss red by testers, the little small bottles. That's what this is. And the body I painted just a, just blue, gloss blue. I added a, just a drop or two of black just to tone it down a little bit. And so at, at first it's a bit gaudy. The two colors um, sort of fight against each other. But I think once it's all said and done, uh, the interior is a, a tan color. So with that in there, that will break that up. And um, I've got those decals uh, that are... I really wanted to wait to the end to show the decals. I think they're cool. They're Marines decals, but well, shoot, I'll go ahead and show them to you. I bought this sheet. It's uh, different, different uh, branches of the armed forces, and here are the uh, the Marines. Uh, the two small ones here, they will go on the doors, so they're just the right size to fit on the doors, and the uh, larger one will go on the trunk right back here. Perfect size. Don't really have any place to put these other ones. And unfortunately, they only give you one red and one white marine uh, sticker, which or um, decal rather, 
which I could actually put them on the hood one one side red one side white and that might look fine and I may do that but there's the louvered hood and I might I may end up doing that just placing it right here but I don't want it to look like a clown car and at this point it kind of does I think once again once I get the chrome on it once I get the black wheels obviously um, and the engine which is gluing together right here this is a uh, unfortunately I don't know who came up with the concept but it's got a small block Chevrolet what, a, what an unfortunate event but you know what's odd this is kind of a weird little kit so this is this this got the old banjo rear end right and the banjo rear end I don't know if you've ever actually seen one in person but the, the drive shaft is enclosed you don't ever see the drive shaft so it couples up to that model model a style transmission which is hooked to a three a small block Chevrolet which is so weird to me I guess I guess they you can make a model work and do whatever you want it to but yeah so I'll have the I'm gonna paint the engine Chevrolet orange just to go ahead and gaudy the rest of it up I mean if it's a Chevy engine you might as well paint it Chevy orange I could I thought about maybe taking the intake which has the distributor built into it and just turn around forward just to mess with some some guys to make it look like a a Ford which that wouldn't look like a Ford and this has the distributor built in I am planning on doing plug wires on it too so that'll be nice but anyway this is this is going to be just a quick build it's not going to take much time a very low parts count for a, a model kit but it's going to be really, really cool. Thank you again, James Maroon, for sending me this kit to do that um, as a tribute to his Marine brothers and sisters. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to do a few more, get some other stuff painted, assemble the engine, get it painted, um, get farther along with it, and the decals will be the very last thing that I do. Uh, I don't tend to do my decals early in the process for one reason. If I damage the paint, um, I see some people, they'll go ahead and put their decals on after they, they finish the painting of the body. They'll take and they will uh, install the decals if possible. My problem is if I damage the body and I have to, you know, strip the paint, well, there go the decals as well. So I don't want to do that. But anyway, yeah, the paint's looking nice. The car's looking cool. I hope this is pleasing. Uh, to look at when I get done with it I do think it will work also I'll have the black running boards so that's also going to break it up right now it's just very um, the two color con uh, they just totally clash but it will look good I promise you this is going to be a cool car when I get done with it so stand by so I got some paint on my little parts uh, got some black wash on some other parts valve covers rims or wheels my bumpers need to finish with the grill it still needs it's kind of blotchy got the engine painted the fuel tank just everything that needs to be painted basically everything is painted now there's a few little parts radiator hose and such um yeah but but it's coming along this is the point in a model kit when they really start going to really start going together is when you get all of your parts painted um, at that point, all you have to do once they're dry is just start gluing them, gluing them into place. I also got the uh, running boards painted on the, on the chassis over there. But yeah, this is going to be a really cool kit. Can't wait to get those decals on, on the, uh, on the chassis so we can see what it's going to look like. Let's see what the black, okay, so got the black uh, steps on there so it's going it's this is going to be a nice looking kit um i was thinking it was a little little bit uh gaudy as far as the colors but i think it's going to actually it's going to look good the decals are truly going to set it off and well at least i hope hope they do all right but yeah time this is a little time consuming to get all your parts painted um but yeah here we go this the, so i'm gonna run 
real quick. I'm going to, once I get the engine, um, get those cool valve covers on there. And... Okay, it's not one to focus, I'm sorry. It's not really a carburetor on here. I've got to paint where the carburetor would be there. It's just the breather sets on top of it. Most of the time you can't see a carburetor anyway. But I'm going to drill that distributor out, run my plug wires, um, then paint the distributor, do some more black washing. I paint my engines black first, and then I come back and when I paint my uh, whatever color the engine is going to be, I don't do a heavy coat. I do a light coat, and it will give the illusion of shadows somewhat also with the seats don't um, just pour it to it so I'll paint my seat sometimes black a black, a black primer maybe a flat black and then I'll come over and, and try to mist the, the the color onto it and it will give it some sometimes sometimes it doesn't but it will give it a shadow effect anyway all right so I'm going to get started putting these parts and getting them assembled um, this is definitely going to be just a one part video. So, yeah, come along. Here we go. Stand by. So, this should be the last update until I finish this uh, car. And it's coming along really, really nice. I got the engine in. Just I just put the hood on, and I've got the grill and the. Uh, the mount that the uh, radiator mounts in and all that gluing right now so I can't take off the I can't take off the what the heck the hood but I did run my plug wires and they turned out nice I had to go under the exhaust I painted it Chevrolet orange just so you Chevy guys know know that it's a Chevy wouldn't want to disappoint and I've got the wheels done. There they are. They're looking so dang awesome. Got the black wash in them. They're going to look cool. Windshield is glued and ready to go with the Mod Podge. That stuff is so crystal clear. I really can't even see where I put it. Anyway, Mod Podge on the window. And what else do I have? I've got to paint the door handles. Um, <clears throat> radiator cap, some little chrome handles, uh, exhaust has got to be put under it. The bumpers are over here and they are ready to go with black. Wow, look how blurry that is. Black stripes. So yeah, it's coming along pretty good. I got the radiator hose to put on still. Ugh. Right there it is. Radiator hoses are my nemesis. I can't stand them. <clears throat> but anyway, yeah, this should be the last update. Next segment, we're going to have this thing with the decals on it. On the little turntable right there, and we're going to show it to you. So stand by one more time. Alright guys, this is the next day. I feel a bit under the weather. I don't know if you can tell it my voice. But I did finish the 32 monogram street rod that James Maroon sent me for a Marine Corps tribute build. And I finished it. <clears throat> Looks pretty decent. So here it is. I found, um, I was a little concerned because just having the decals on the doors and on the trunk, I just didn't think it was enough. So they had these big... <clears throat> excuse me these red ones and these white ones and I said dang that'll fit right on the front fender and uh, so that's what I did <clears throat> excuse me I'm not going to use the engine sides I really think that that takes away from it <clears throat> but it's turned out really nice the wheels and the um, wheels and tires they look great the engine turned out really nice with the yellow plug wires fortunately enough since this small block Chevy is just so small little mouse motor there's plenty of room between the firewall and the um, distributor, so the wires don't interfere with that. So if it had been a big beefy Ford engine, I might the engine sets back so far, you know, it probably would have been touching the <laughs> firewall. I'm just joking. I know a Ford's distributor's in the front. I'm totally aware of that. But anyway, yeah, it turned out good. <clears throat> Excuse me again. I apologize. I have sinus issues going on. So, um, so James. I'm not going to read the letter, but he sent me this kit, 
um, what it was just before Memorial Day, and he asked if he just requested if I could do a Marine Corps tribute built for his Marine brothers and sisters. And I said, sure, that would be really cool. So I decided to buy these decals. Uh, I think I got them, what, gopher racing or something like that. I forget what, what, yeah, I think that's what they were. They didn't have a lot. The sheet was kind of, <clears throat> had all four branches of military. So you're kind of limited. Didn't have a lot of each. But anyway, what I got turned out nice. The red and the blue, little contrast clash, but for what it is, <clears throat> what it what it actually reminds me of is if you go to a parade and you see like a Shriner driving a old Ford or something like that, they would have a a uh, a paint job something like this. It would be a when I say gaudy, I don't mean ugly. I mean gaudy like they clash. So these two colors <clears throat> probably would you would never see them on a normal street rod, but because of this having to try and incorporate the blue and the scarlet or the red and then the gold I just let the uh, stickers take care of that <clears throat> I think it turned out nice so very simple car this is a very simple build there's not a lot of detail um, in this when monogram put this kit out what was it in the 2000s early 2000s or late I don't see a date right this minute but anyway just not a lot of date not a, excuse me not a lot of detail the, in, the interior is very limited on detail, so you just, you know, it'll look nice on the shelf. Thank you again, James. When I received it in the mail, I was like, wow, somebody sent me something in the mail. That is so cool. <clears throat> and again, if you decide to send me something, my, my P.O. box is in the link in the description. Or it's not a link, I'm sorry. This cold is messing my head up. The address, the P.O. box is in the description. And, uh... If you send me something with a request, I'll try to get around to it. This, I was, uh, I made a point to do this, and I just can't thank James enough. Thank you, James Maroon. All right, so the bottom again, I painted. I didn't do black. I didn't black it out. I did, you know, I did orange the uh, engine, just like what an old Chevy would be. Exhaust, just a clean under belly, no gr grit and grime. I did sand the tires. I did black wash the wheels, which turned out just awesome. These these things look so cool. Give it some shadow effect. Um, but it went together really easy. So it's not a hard kit at all to build. If you come across this kit, <clears throat> you might uh, actually find one over at Hobby Nut Models from time to time. I know I got one from, from Hobby Nut. Um, I was... I, I got this kit from James and Mark over at Hobby Nut. Hobby Nut saw the video and he says, "Hey, I've got another one of these. Do you, are you interested?" And I said, "Absolutely." So I went over and I grabbed that kit. So go over to Hobby Nut Models and browse his inventory. He, uh, Mark has been getting a lot of new kits, new interesting stuff, and he still has a lot of the older NASCAR kits. He's got oddball kits sort, such as this. Not to say he'll have one of these, but he does have kits that are uh, old shelf finds. So. Go over and check out Hobby Nut Models. Go over to the Facebook group and join our Facebook group. <clears throat> it has grown tremendously. Thank you so much for all of you guys that have joined. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, just a great group of people, men and women. There are some women on there. Not too many, but there are a few women on there that, that enjoy the hobby as much as we do. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. Thank you again, James. Thanks, guys, for watching this video. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, I greatly would appreciate if you would go and hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Um, that helps us content creators somehow. I'm not sure how that works. But go do those things for us. Uh, it, it doesn't cost you anything, obviously, and we would greatly appreciate it. Also, one other thing, and <clears throat> I'm not trying to promote myself in any way, but... I was speaking with Luca C recently and Luca recommended that I open a, a Teespring store. It's the online t-shirt sales. And I went over and I designed a, a t-shirt. There's two different var variations of it. One's got orange and one's got blue. That's it. I am a very uncreative or I'm not creative. I have not the greatest of creative juices. That's probably why I don't do a lot of scratch building. But I've got one, two, one design in two variations. If you go over there and you grab a t-shirt, <clears throat> that link to the Teespring store is in the description, and I'd appreciate that. That would support the, 
the channel and uh, help me to grow this channel and continue to create content. But anyway, I've rambled on enough, guys. This is going to there's going to be a slideshow now, just following when I stop talking, and you will get to see the Marine Corps tribute built 1932 Ford up close and personal guys thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to subscribe and like this video and i will see you on the next one you guys take care bye